Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here, and in this one we're going to be integrating Survival Game Kit with our climbing component. So the end result for that will be we'll be able to climb our walls here, mantle over everything. There are a few specific adjustments to Survival Game Kit, but not too many, and I'll get into showing you those. So without further ado, we will get into setting that up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your climbing component. I have it open up in 4.23, but you can use any version. And my, as long as you're migrating it upwards, it should work. Like, for example, my project here that I'm going to be migrating it into is 4.24. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our climbing component, migrate, okay. And we're going to go to our projects content folder and move that in. Let me just close out of that. First thing we're going to do is go to our project settings. Inputs, action, mappings. And we're going to add one for climb. And we're just going to use the space bar. Close that out. Next thing we're going to do is retarget our animations. So going to open up your skeleton and the climbing component. Set the to humanoid. If you don't have this window, you want to select the retarget manager to get this. Save this. And we'll just check the survival game kit skeleton here. It's already set. So we can browse back to this one. And we're going to retarget our climbing component skeleton to our survival game kit skeleton. And that will retarget all the animations that we need. Save all. Close out the skeleton. And then we have all of our animations retargeted. Next thing we're going to do is go into our blueprints, character, master, character. And we're going to add the climbing component. We're just going to get rid of this so we don't have any issues with naming. It's not too big of an issue, you can always just replace it. This makes it a little bit easier. Then you want to open up your master character for the climbing component. Go to the event graph, begin play. Copy this wall trace arrow first. Paste it on here and just put it on your skeleton mesh right there. And we'll want to adjust this to 50 and 90. And in our master character here, we will also want to grab our input. Let's we'll put that in the inputs here. So you want to go to your event graph, inputs, and survive game kit character. Paste in this climbing input. And now we want to go to our climbing component. In future, in the next update, you will already have this done, but in this one, if you have the original version 1.0 update, then this function won't exist. So I'm going to show, show you how to just create that now. I'm going to quickly delete the function. That would be plugged in there in your project. So 
So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a Boolean variable. So you just click that to create the variable and name it yaw rotation disabled. And then we're going to create a function. Check yaw rotation. And in here, we're going to get a character reference. Use controller. Hit use controller. Yeah. Hold B and click. And that will create a branch. And there you have this function. You can just skip this part, by the way. And... If it's true, we want to set this variable. And if it's false, hold B and click. We want to check if this variable is set because this will be run, this will be run false at the end of a vault, basically. And if it is true, we want to get our character reference. Set controller rotation yaw to true. So basically it's checking if it's true or false, and if it is true, it will enable this variable, and then we will just control C and copy that, disable this variable. And this variable is being stored until the end of the animation for when we check through this function again. And then this time it will run in through false because we disabled it. And this will be set to true if this was ever set to true to begin with. And then it will just reset the variable. It will add a return. And if this variable was never set, meaning it ran through false originally and came through the false because this was never set, then it'll run through here. So basically that's just a for sure check. If you have this variable ticked on that it will enable and disable it correctly. That'll be all commented properly in our prod in the updated project. So now you just want to simply Right here in the event tick vault climb, you want to come over to where the set climb is set, being set. And plug this in between there and the get wall trace. And there's a comment on what's going on. And then in each of these event graphs for jump climb, high climb, and low climb. Right here at the end when the jump is disabled, we'll just want to check the DR again, and then that would way be running through false. And check yeah. I put this into the, the uh, do not edit because it's a variable that you're not going to want to adjust manually yourself. Low climb. So at the end of all three of these, compile and save that. And that will fix any issues because we, currently we have this enabled in Survival Game Kit and disabling it breaks stuff in the camera when we're running around normally. So we don't want to do that. We want it to be re-enabled again after. And one more thing that will also be in the newest version, you want to go to your moving check in your climbing component. This macro right here. Select this right here. Control C and copy it. Go into your sprint check. This is what it will look like in the updated version. For now you'll have a boolean for sprinting here. 
actions right here just so i can show you as a reference is not being not, i have it not in use now in the future it won't be in the this won't be in the project anymore and the speed that i have set is 700 and you can always just drag out and promote it this to a variable i already have the variable created and the create variable is sprinting speed so you can just drag out promote the variable and call that sprinting speed and you must make sure that's set to 700 so now the sprinting will be ch checked properly and now i'm just going to save all i believe we are finished i'm going to survive game kit maps or no climbing component maps showcase okay and now i'm just going to Select the survival game kit game mode, get our character. Just gonna run up here. Actual movement's working still. And we're not climbing. And I believe I forgot something. Yes, the gameplay, we forgot to initialize our component. Something we want to do, you can either drag it out and get the initialization, or you can come over to your master character, event graph, gameplay, copy this, go to your survival gameplay character, paste this in. Everything should already be set up for it because we created all these and save that now everything should be working fine and there we go we have everything faulting and climbing that's going to be everything for this one if you have any questions or suggestions on any integrations you'd like to see for the asset, please feel free to leave those in the comments below or join our Discord for our assets. A link to that's in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.